What inspires me? Creature Box. I wanted to get into one, at least one of the art books that I've collected from other artists. And one of the most notable ones um, that I've actually, I got this book through a Kickstarter of theirs, is uh, Creature Box. And it's a, uh, it's a collaboration of two artists. And, uh, ooh, I even have it signed, which is really nice. Uh, Dave Guerton and Greg Baldwin, who um, both, uh, as they depict themselves here, are uh, designers. And uh, specifically character designers or, you know, just art directors in general. Um, most notably, they are the art, the, the visual minds behind a lot of the latest Ratchet and Clank video games. And um, that, that alone is what really got me into these guys' work. I, I just, the something about them is just so, I mean, I, I, I don't want to say inspirational as over and over again, even though it really is, but I want to say is that they're just really creative. They will take features and just completely take those off the wall and go just I'll just think out of the box um, with with some of these designs, um, like e enormous teeth, gigantic uh, a gigantic hood, which is a part of the body. I'm just looking through this right now, and it's really difficult for me to just explain what I'm looking at. That's why I take pictures and post them up along to help me to help visualize. Uh, what it is these guys do. And what's what's also fascinating to me about these guys is that they're a duo. And they've gotten together because they have such similar, uh, this similar unique style. And it's, it's really weird to say that. It, it's similar and unique. Both of them combined is just visually appealing. And they have like a very similar taste in what they do um and it's sometimes it's really difficult to tell who who did what um i, I mean i could probably go through tons of these drawings and i could say oh that's that's a, a dave drawing oh that's a greg drawing oh that that's I'm, I'm probably way way off but uh just looking through this stuff they love to work with odd shapes they it, it's when i when i look at this work i just think they they take their lines and they just go with whatever comes to mind if they make the line they're going to stick with it and that's what will work for this character and they'll they'll just completely take that and make it fit for the character and a lot of these are you know monster designs alien designs um technical designs uh like uh very spacey. You can see why this is the Ratchet and Clank style now because it fits so well with it. And while they're not, like, like I'm, I want to say they're not. They're probably not the only artists at uh, uh, what what is it? Uh, um, Insomniac Games that uh, design all of the characters for them. But they they certainly are the most recognizable. So, uh, just looking at all these very creepy and, and charming designs. I mean, it, it's not so much that you have to make a monster design look scary, but at the same time, cartoonish and appealing and, and something that you would, you would like to look at. Um, some of these are, you know... <laughs> Uh, are weirder than others, but and and these are really interesting drawings right here that I'm gonna um, point out. They're they're silhouettes, almost like just shapes of designs, and there's so many of them, so many different shapes, so many different unique 
ways to go about the idea of a, a, like a mechanical monstrous creature. And these could all be seen in like a video game. The, these are things that you would like, you would love to see these things move. If, if you could, you, you just like take every aspect of this particular design and you would just want to see this, how, how, how would this work in a reality? And, and not so much like our reality, just like the reality that these designs are, are for. And man, I when I look through these, I can't, I can't even do it justice. <laughs> and that's that's what I really feel bad about for this video series is that I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to say in words what what is visually fascinating about these particular drawings or and these artists. Uh, it's really hard to do that without showing you. And, uh, you know, these guys have delved in so many different things. And, and, and this is just stuff that they do on their free time. I mean, they, they do this for a living. And all of this weird, weird stuff that they do on a daily basis is just things that they do to keep themselves creative and that's something that i i really well i should delve into more but it it, it can be yeah you know, it's a daunting task uh i i work a job do in animation doing storyboarding and that's literally drawing eight hours a day in an establishment where you know you have to get the work done on a schedule on time and after that, to my heart's content, I can draw whatever I want. And sometimes it can be draining, you know, working eight hours a day, drawing, and then coming home to draw. You, th you think about that for a minute. If you worked in construction and you worked all day, eight hours a day, doing construction, building a home, and then you come home to build a home, yeah, it's, it, and a lot of people can do it, and uh, there, it, it's varied results, but it really is a passion, and you really see it in these guys' work. They took their passion, and they made, they made their hobby into both work and something that they love to do on the side, just just for the hell of it. And I've seen these guys at conventions. They're really nice people. They 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 uh they obviously want to inspire other people as well because if they wouldn't show this stuff off if they didn't feel that it would help inspire someone else who who wants to be of this caliber. Um I I also want to delve into the uh, uh <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked at some really weird creatures here, and it and it just is a great example. I'm going to have to bookmark this at some point just to show you the kind of weird, weird and wacky things that can be done just on a, just on a simple, basic idea. Like, think of, I'm looking at this one right now. What would this thing, what would a creature look like if it was just square-shaped and we had the mouth you know, at a, a, a different shape than we're used to. It, wh how would that look like? What, how would it... How would this fit into a sort of cartoonish reality? And then there's a monster here who has like... I'm, I'm guessing that's his brain, but he has like a gelatinous uh, uh, head where you can see his brain inside of his head in between his teeth. That's... It's genius and psychotic at the same time. You, you know what I mean? It's almost like you have to be some sort of level of odd to want to think, like, this is a weird idea. I have to see how this would work. So just draw it. You, and, and that's what I love about this, is that you need to 
think of a weird idea, and it might not work all the time, but at least try it. Try and see if it would work. If it doesn't, try again. Try a different way to get that message across. And that's that's what I get out of this out of the work that these guys do. Uh, it, it's just fascinating, and the colors are just so. The, the colors can be like everywhere, but they still work. They're it, it's very fluid. It's very neon. It's it can be very uh, uh, bright or dark or dense or it, it, you know any kind of word that you can come up with. You can find a drawing in here and say it's like that. That's that's a that's a really dense color palette. I don't even know if that's real. Don't don't take my word for it. I'm I'm just. <laughs> um, but one of the things that uh, kind of uh, I really want to see from these guys is the concept artwork for Ratchet and Clank, and that's something that I have not seen from Insomniac Games, and it really is up to Insomniac Games. I don't even know how long these guys have been working for them. I I I've noticed. As soon as the Future series came out, um, when the PS3 came out, uh, the style kind of switched. And my favorite style of Ratchet & Clank is from All For One. And I think that's the one that they kind of stuck with. It's really... It's very cartoony, very simplistic, and it all works. So, you know, I blanked out for a minute because I thought I saw the timer go out. But yeah, yeah, um, moving on, I, I'm, I'm losing time here. I, I, I will post some pictures of, of this while I'm talking as best as I can. And I would really check these guys out. They have a website, Creature Box, you look them up, they'll pop up right up. And um, they also sell books. I got this one through Kickstarter. I don't know if they have other ones, but if you can find their artwork, they do have a couple things that they sell usually at at conventions, or maybe maybe they even have a store. Uh, I I mean I I would really love to plug these guys because they do just fantastic work, and they they just seem like really just like really nice guys to work with. I mean I could be wrong. They could be jerks. I have no idea. Their their work really speaks levels for the kind of. The kind of stuff that they love to do and what I love to see. And really, you know, that's that's all there is to it. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, inspired you. And I hope uh, it will inspire you to inspire others. Uh, if you're a creative type, then, you know, go wild. See, see if, if you can come up with something that is really weird and out of the ordinary. Because that's what I get from this. Go out of the ordinary and just do something that no one has seen before or maybe they have but do something different with it I, it's up to you so thank you so much for watching I, uh, this was really inspirational for me and I hope it's inspiration for you if you want to talk about these guys or other artists that you like please go to the comments below please be civil and also be excellent to each other and thank you again I'll see you in the next exp expiration no I will see you in the next inspiration